I'm really hoping that nothing goes wrong this time. This is my third time. Third time filming this video. The first time I had something like blocking my mic and it literally sounded like I was underwater. It was horrible. And the second time I was wearing my glasses cause I wanted to be able to see, but this is what you saw the entire time. And I feel like that would be so obnoxious. So, sacrificing my vision for you guys so that you guys can get this video. So, we recently just hit a thousand subscribers. I'm so, so, so overjoyed and thankful for you guys. And I'm really excited to see where this channel continues to grow. Hitting a thousand subscribers was a goal of mine. I wanted to hit a thousand by this summer and you guys actually made it happen uh right before summer i actually hit a thousand in the springtime so that was really awesome and i have always wanted to start a youtube channel i briefly started a youtube channel when i was in middle school it was a collab channel with one of my friends and i think we only did like one video and that video was like a Q&A type of video. It was so cringy. I really hope that it's not like posted anywhere. In high school, I also wanted to start a YouTube channel, but I never knew exactly what I should talk about or do. Um, in high school, I thought it could maybe be makeup. I was okay. I was pretty good at makeup. I would do people's makeup all the time. And yeah, I thought that maybe makeup could be my thing. Um, and as I got older, I obviously I'm not really wearing, I'm wearing a little bit of makeup. I'm not wearing like that much makeup and I don't wear makeup as much as I did or I'm not as passionate about makeup as I was when I was in high school. So yeah, even when I moved out, my husband always told me, yeah, you should definitely do YouTube. I see this being something that you could be good at, but I just didn't know like what to talk about. And I feel like God's timing is infinitely the best and I feel like he put it on my heart of what I should do and I can definitely see that I have been blessed because what I am talking about is my first video and my second video but my first video is the video that is doing the best on my channel and it's what people are coming back and expecting to see from me so yeah i definitely think i know what my niche is and i think that i'm reminded every day that this is what i'm supposed to be working on in this journey this is what it's supposed to be with all of that encouragement and support i've definitely gotten some discouragement and people who are not supporting what i'm doing but i really do think that this is what i'm supposed to be doing and i'm not gonna stop so i'm really excited to see where this journey continues to take me so when i was reminiscing on all of this i was just also thinking about my journey um occurring in real life i was thinking about some things that i have learned since running away and i wanted to share with you guys five of those things and we can make this into a series if you guys like this video and you're interested then i can do a few more and share those with you guys so the first thing that i learned was the importance of relying on yourself to make decisions and not looking to others to make those decisions for you or looking to them just for answers in general so obviously when you're a minor you are having decisions made for you left and right and there's very few decisions that you have to make and usually they're not of significance or great importance but when you are on your own when you're moved out you are bombarded with all these decisions that you have to make a lot of them are very heavy life important decisions and going from one extreme to the other is a surprise <laughs> and it's difficult and i learned very quickly that even though you have the support of others and you could have guidance from others with making decisions at the end of the day no one is going to make decisions for you and you have to be educated you have to look out for yourself and you have to make decisions 
for yourself. In a way, I feel like this really built my confidence up in a way that I didn't even know could be built up. Because like I said, when you're younger, you're having decisions that are being made for you. And now that I am on my own, I am feeling just empowered and I'm just feeling very confident that I'm able to make important decisions and that my life turned out okay because of the decisions that I have made in the past. So my number two is related to my number one. And I didn't even know that this was significant. I had never even really thought about this, but it is very important to live on your own and be built up as an individual before you enter into a marriage. So going back a little bit to brown culture, it might be like this in other cultures as well, but the thing is that you should live with your parents throughout the whole time, even in college, and only when you are married is when you should move out, but you're moving in with your significant other. And it's like there's no in-between because you're going from living with people to living with a, your own family that you're going to build. And the importance of, like I said, making decisions for yourself and becoming an individual is really going to help you when you are in a marriage because you're going to have that built up sense of responsibility and growth. So that bridge in between living with your parents and being married is something that you definitely need to cross over and experience. It's not something that should be skipped over in my opinion. When I ran away, when I was moved out, when I was on my own, I didn't move in with my husband until three years after. So I had the chance to experience life on my own. Obviously we were still in a relationship together and he was just one phone call away, but I experienced things on my own. And I'm not saying that that bridge is a chance for you to wild out. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's a chance for built up responsibility and growth. Number three is I learned to better manage my stress levels. When I was a kid, I did not know how to handle stress at all. Like it would get so bad that the back of like my neck and shoulder area would hurt. Like it would get tense and feel so heavy. And I would have like these thoughts just racing through my mind and I wouldn't be able to shake whatever it is that was bothering me. It would just always be on my mind. And I carried this into when I first moved out um, in my late teens, I would be stressed like this. And yeah, it wasn't until I was a little bit older, like my 20s, that I just was diving more deeply into my faith and I was learning to trust God more. And I learned this new perspective of God has my back. Yes, I have pain and burdens that are going on in my life, God understands that and he wants us to pray and lay it on his feet and trust that he's going to take care of us and take care of the things that don't even have significance, honestly, in the grand scheme of things. So I'm going to share with you guys two verses that I cling on to super hard. And um, I've probably shared these verses before, but they're really good verses, so I'm going to share them again. And sorry, I'm gonna put on my blinding glasses because I wanna see the verses. The first verse is 1 Peter 5, 7, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. And the second verse is Philippians 4, 6, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Next up on my list, number four, is I learned the importance of personal development. So I don't think I even knew what that was when I was in high school or even younger. So when I would think about probably self-care, it would definitely be in vain. And I would upkeep, you know, my eyebrows, my hair, my skin, clothing that I would wear for vain purposes and not for, you know, feeling genuinely like good about myself like not wanting to impress anyone else but like wanting to feel good about myself 
and the confidence level that is what I was in high school to now is of significant difference because not to sound rude or mean but I honestly could care less about what other people think about me and I feel like that has definitely made me feel just happy because I'm okay with me and I'm okay with how I look and how I dress and that high school me could not say the same thing so also with the physical, I have also learned that it is super important to take care of my health because um, again, not in a vain way, I genuinely want to be the best version of myself and that's going to continue to change and grow, but I want to be healthy. I want to eat right. I want to exercise. I want to be able to be healthy for my kids. I want to be active for them. I want my energy levels to be high. So yeah working out for that purpose like that shift in perspective that i just want to be the best version of myself and i also want to grow in my faith i want my mental health to be good so yeah personal development is something that i didn't even know about and because i moved out because i started experiencing different things i didn't even realize that i was growing and then i learned about it and i was like oh that's what that is I can't even stress enough. It is so, so, so important. Healing from the traumas that I have gone through, um, continuing to just dive deep in that area and finding different ways that I can heal. I definitely want to try therapy. I've never been to therapy, but I feel like it's something that would definitely help me. Um, and also um, communication. Um, learning about how I can better communicate things and efficiently communicate things is something that I really prioritize now as well. All of those things are what is making me become a whole person and when I say that I'm not saying that I'm perfect or I'm at like the 100% mark because there is always room to grow and things to work on but being that whole person allows me to help other people because if i was broken and struggling tremendously with things i feel like i wouldn't be able to help people as well if that makes sense so the last thing on my list is being okay with standing up for yourself and for what you want with your life so no one can tell you what career to have who to marry, what hobby to do, what color to wear, what to wear, anything. It's up to you and it's up to you being okay with making that decision for yourself and not feeling guilty and not falling into emotional blackmail or gaslighting, none of that. It's you're okay with the decisions that you made for your life and that's something that I had to learn and forgive myself and just be okay with myself with and it was really difficult because yeah I really did feel badly that I took my life into my own hands. At the end of the day it is okay that I'm living the life that I want to live. So those were some things that I have learned since running away. If you guys want me to talk about a few more please let me know in the comments and I will do a part two. Also be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, the thumbs up, you know, all the jazz. And follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. I'm always posting like pretty much almost every single day on there. And I post additional personal development, faith, inspo, motivation, what I'm up to. So yeah, be sure to check me out on there. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.